Oh, they try to act like they don't recognize what's going on in the world. Because you recognize the real. Let me tell you, I have to get up off your ass. I'm going to tell you this shit. I'm going to speak my piece. I'm going to speak my piece. Peace, peace to black power. Peace to black power. That's what it's all about. I'ma speak my peace in the land of the beast. Even though I'm from the streets, things that I see, I'ma speak on it. Cause nobody else is speaking on it. Seem like everybody's scared to speak what's real. See, when you speak what's real, people singing you out. They ostracize you and put you in this corner, in this category. You, you see what I'm saying? Because you speak that real. You speak that truth. You know, you shock and amaze people when you speak that truth. You see what I'm saying? And if I feel like speaking on any issue, I'm a grown man, I can speak on it. I know speaking the truth in this country, you can meet a bullet head on. But if that be the case, I don't fear death. And I'm going to keep on speaking this truth. You feel me? Was it Malcolm X assassinated for speaking that truth, standing on real principles, real life gangsterism? You feel what I'm saying? Some of some of some of us call ourselves gangsters, but we're only gangster when it's come to doing something to one another. We only gangster when it comes to doing something to one another. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I owed you money. Anybody black that owed you money, and, and if that person doesn't pay you, that's black to owe you money, you're gonna do something. It may cost me my life for not paying my debt. If I'm black, it's easy for you to attack me if I owed you money, but the United States of America owe you money. You have not throw one rice at a wedding. You ain't do popcorn. You ain't do rocks. Like the Israelis, you know, they, they bombard the uh the Palestine people with, with big old bombs. They at least throw rocks or something back, even though they underdeveloped when it comes to weaponry. <laughs> they throw rocks back, they throw something back. Niggas in this country don't throw shit back. But if I owed you, you be at my front door. But the United States owe you reparations. You ain't demanded. Donald Chisholm probably gets in office because now we know that your girl, uh, Camilla Chameleon Harris, only black when it's convenient. There's nothing black about her. But you will not put it on her demand for reparations. You will not stand together. You're just going to vote for her because you think she black. Go do the byline on her life and you will see that she does nothing black. Because I do remember when she was the district, district attorney in uh, 
prosecutor attorney, something of that nature, uh, she sentenced she sentenced a black man uh, to penitentiary for something he didn't do. She sent a lot of black men to penitentiary in San Francisco, California. But I don't want to get off track because I'm going to speak on what I want to speak on tonight. Saturday, June 29th, 2024. Concerns and questions still linger on this particular date. On this particular date, questions Concerned questions still linger about Dayton's city police shooting and killing of Brian Moody, a 16-year-old black male teen. This is deep, y'all. This happened Saturday, June 29th. This is fresh, 2024. Concerns and questions still linger about these two cops who shot at this young brother who was running. He was running away from them. I seen the film. I seen the tape. I seen the highlights. I seen the reel. I saw the cam. And What's so deep about Eurocentric people, they try to feed black people hogwash like we supposed to take it. Here's a tape, camcorder, a VHS tape of Rodney King being beat right before our very eyes. And they find the cops not guilty. Here it is. These motherfucking race soldiers, excuse my language, but this pisses me off. And I'm gonna speak on it because I got hard. I, I got hard, so I'm gonna speak on it. Street niggas, stand back. I got y'all back. I'm from the street. You know, I've been deep in them streets. And I know you wanna speak on some shit, but you don't you don't wanna sing like a lame. You getting this money bag out here. That's all you worry about. You got an image to portray that you a hardcore street thug criminal so you cannot indulge yourself in these black talks but i will i got your back i'm speaking to the streets i'm from the streets spent most of my time in the penitentiary chasing the fast money fucking with these streets so let me speak for you and i'm gonna re and i'm gonna uh speak on these issues all the time because i'm black and if the world um didn't like black people, you probably wouldn't hear me. If the world didn't murder black people based on the content of our skin, you probably wouldn't hear me speak. You feel me? But did. According to Dayton Daily News, the police said they responded to a block party issue in the 500 block of Negley Avenue place around 8 p.m. Police proclaimed, this is what the police proclaimed, according to the Daily News. Police proclaim on social media. Social media, they encounter an individual in the middle of the streets with a gun on Facebook, I believe. This is where the fuckery come in at when this chief of police get to speaking. I mean, the fuckery come in real deep. And I'm looking at this film and they telling me another thing that this brother turned around and faced them and they shot him from a sideway in the back view. He never turned around, he froze like he was about to be giving himself up. But you was already shooting at this brother. You see what I'm saying? So now this is where the lies come in at. The police say when they approached Brian Moody, he produced a firearm. When they approached this brother, he took off flight like Jesse Owens. He wasn't standing stationary. Somebody lying. Now, this is where the lies come in at. Brian Moody produced the firearm. 
the two officers discharged their weapon because he was running. They discharged the weapon. This brother, for some reason, he knew that these particular officers was coming to 187 him. The, the video that I seen, it reflect otherwise black people from the city of Dayton, the gym city. Somebody lying to y'all. They've been killing our people in Dayton and covering up with smooth talk and we've been going for it. Check this video out. Cause see, that's what I do. I show improve on this channel. You see the video. I'm gonna be right back. Check it out. This is what police say led to a deadly encounter. You can see a teen identified as 16 year old Brian Moody running away from police as they try to talk to him. The video is unclear, but the police chief says officers saw a gun and when he turned towards them, they opened fire. So what we know right now based on autopsy is that he was uh, hit in his left shoulder. So I'd say when he's turning around, as you can see, that's the, the point. In a news conference, Chief Cameron Afsel says the teen had a Glock 17, posted pictures with guns on social media hours before, and says officers found this one next to his body on Negley Street. The chief says officers were patrolling that area because of recent pop-up parties in vacant houses that turned into shootings but why they were after this team this is uh, taken directly from the uh, from the body cam footage of the from the officers as they were approaching the individual after the shooting occurred and this is a uh, handgun with an extended magazine this is the picture that we got from Montgomery County Sheriff's Office who are actually doing the investigation that uh, is a modified handgun and we found out that it was fully automatic, uh, automatic had 30 lab rounds and one in the chamber. Uh, my understanding is that a weapon like that is fully automated. It will take one second to fully unload that weapon uh, when, when fired upon. Again, what you're about to hear is your traffic from officers involved. Some of the audio may contain adult content, so your discretion for, for you and the audience that's uh, uh, seeing this uh, is advised. So you see, it was literally 10 seconds. Uh, it's just really uh, <clears throat> evolved pretty quickly. Um, what now you're going to see is uh, body cam footage from the, the two officers who were uh, on the scene, officer one and officer two. And again, the video discretion is, is advised. It is very, very quick. Uh, and one of the things I would caution everybody is that the, 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 what you're seeing is body cam footage, which is literally uh, situated at the, in the center mass of the officer at the chest area. It is not what an officer sees uh, with his or her eyes. In this case, his eyes, because there are two male officers who were involved in this thing. So it shows a perspective. Doesn't mean that's what the officer sees. It just shows a perspective of what the body cam is seeing. Oh, this is uh, body cam footage from Officer One. <laughs> So, <clears throat> as usual in the past that we have done, uh, we will not sh show the actual shooting. We'll stop it right before the shooting because there's enough uh, trauma that occurs in our city. And what I don't want to do is to, to further that trauma uh, by showing a, a actual shooting and somebody succumbing to their uh, to the demise as a result of the shooting. Um, we're going to show it to the right at the point. And keep that in mind. What you saw is when the when the individual turned uh, is when the actual the first fire shots were uh, fired. Uh, this is the perspective of from uh, officer two. Again. 
again, the same thing from the officer too. This is again right before the first uh, shots fired. If you notice on the first on the first video that we showed you, there was something yellow in hand on the part officer's uh, left hand. Uh, that's a taser. That's uh, usually, and that means uh, our training is that that uh, taser goes in your dominant hand. The, both of these officers are right-handed, and what you see is that officer transitioning. So intent is as they going after the individual is with a taser, something occurs at that point where they transition the taser from the officer dominant hand to the weak hand. Um, and the cut context, I think, is important as to what the intent was. Now, we're not going to get into the intent of the officer because I'm just going to give you the factual information that we know at this point. <clears throat> so this, again, is just a, this is a still, correct? This is a still of the individual turning uh, what we can see from the from uh, the second officer's perspective and the officer who was that's a shame that is a damn shame young black life just snuffed out for no reason young black life snuffed out for no reason if this, this had been, been a young, young white teen white teen i don't think this would occur just because this brother was a young black male, which they feared young black males. From 16 all the way up to 25, they feared young black males. They feared young black males. That's why they had to come out with a way to try to dumb the black male, um, the young black male's image, to distort his image. I'm not gonna go into all that. If you just look at how they dress, how they got the black male these days. This is the image that they want the black man in. They don't want to see the image of this young black male being that warrior. Cause people my age is only for counsel. Youngsters are for warriorism. I'm for counsel. Only thing I can do is lend my expertise from this art of war brain of mine to the youngsters. And then they go forth and put forth the warrior techniques that I get them. I'm a general at war. You feel me? So they got to keep my young brothers confused on Percocet pills and all that kind of shit. They got to keep my young brothers confused because they know if my young brothers get on that one shit, it's over with. So when they see a young black teen with a gun, that's a threat to white supremacy. That have been a young white teen. Y'all know that that young white teen would have been apprehended because you can see the brother running. You feel me? You can see the little brother running. Young black life snuffed out for no reason. These race soldiers have a propensity to shoot black people unarmed. It is a historical enormously event to shoot black people down in cold blood just for taking flight. Just for taking flight, they will bust you down. If you black, they roll up, you take off and you run away from them, they might take flight behind you and shoot you down and throw a gun or something on you or something. These people are deep. They get up in the morning with a thirst for the blood of black people in this country. Is Carmela, Camilla, Chameleon Harris, is she gonna stop the police violence against black people like this? This is a historical, enormously, the norm, of white supremacy to shoot black people down in cold blood for just taking flight, running from law enforcement. The racist police department in America, they rather kill black man or woman or child rather than seeing them escape with their lives as they take flight. They rather shoot you than see you get away with your life. Maybe they could catch up with you another time. They're not thinking like that. Even when they're high speed chases and they know who they're chasing. For the sake of other lives, they can pull back 
and let that person get away, you're gonna catch up with that person. You got too much technology. The radio is number one. And then number two is the helicopter. You can't outrun these people when they really want you. They got the technology, they got the money. People will snitch you out. Your neighbors will snitch you out. Let's say they down with black people. They'll snitch you out for that grip. So how come they just can't pull away when they see there's other lives at stake? If you black, they want you. They want you dead or want you locked. There's no way these cops would have shot a young white teen. We have seen the incidents with mass shooters. We have seen the incidents in this country of mass shooters that are white, that are apprehended with weapon and taken into custody without a hair touched on them. You know why? Because they have the complexion for the connection. And white people have a tendency to, you know, give props to their own for going on a mass shooting because that's what they want to do and get away with it. The cops, that's what they want to do. Them guns, if they was allowed to come into the black neighborhood and and, 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 and had the order, they would be happy to come into the, this neighborhood and go on a mass shooting, killing black people. That's what they want to do. And that's why they picked this brother out. Brian Moody, 16 years old. And that, that's a crying shame. He ain't lived his life. I feel for his family. That's not right for them to snuff out his life. Seriously, this is not a video to try to make me um, um, get likes and shares. And just, I'm not, I'm just showing and illustrating, you know, I'm not using this brother's, um, this baby's death as a, a, as a stepping stone or something. That's, that's bullshit. You know, that's for the fake motherfuckers. I'm coming real. This is a pandemic. They killing our kids, man. They don't care. And all we can do is vote. It's crazy, man. Y'all remember the white mass shooter uh, that was in uh, the Kenosha, Wisconsin? Uh, Y'all remember Trump supporter Cal Rittenhouse, the young teen that was 16? who shot three people and killed two of the people. The police rolled right past him and he was trying to turn himself in. He was strapped, I think, with an AK-47, some, some type of machine weapon. I did a, a video on this while back, I forgot. It may have been an AR-15 or something. He had a fucking weapon. And you see the video, he didn't shot these people trying to turn himself in. They rolled right past this motherfucking army tanks and cars and everything. And then this chump get found not guilty. You you feel me? Cause he's a young white teen. And the Proud Boys bought a beer for him after the court proceeding. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, y'all mash up the likes, share this video. I'm gone. Peace. Black power.